Hey, Alan. Let's talk about some factoring by grouping. First off, let's talk about what the three ways we've done so far to factor. Remember those? We've done this. We've done like this. Oh, x squared minus 10x. And you go, okay, I'm taking out the x, and that's going to leave me with x minus 10. Boom. Greatest common factor. We've also done this kind of thing where we said, you know, x squared uh, minus, oh, I don't know, how about... Uh, 9x uh, plus 18 or something like that. And we go, oh, trinomial. I can knock this into two binomials. And that will give me x minus 6 times x minus 3. Got it. Okay. The third, if you recall, it was something like this where we had, you know, oh, I don't know, 100a squared minus, you know, I don't know, 81y to the sixth. And you went, ah, that's a difference subtraction, and you went two squares, so I got it. So the square root of 100 a squared, that's going to be 10 a, and I'll put that twice. One will be a plus, one will be a minus, and the square root of 81 y to the sixth is 9 y to the third, and then boom, you got those three, and that's it. Okay, so we've done those three types of factoring. We know how to do those. We've done tons of those in problem sets. Okay, today we're going to look at um, something like this. And we're going to group these together. Now, the, the nice thing about these is um, you can't really lose because you go, okay, I'm going to group these into groups of two and then uh, two other groups of two. Well, it doesn't matter how you group them. It's going to turn out the same no matter which one you do. In other words, if you see anything at all, let's just start with your x, y. You can go right to the next one and go, oh, there's a y in there. I can just group these two together and then pull out a common factor, which in this case is a y. Then you can do the same thing for these two, right? Look at these two. What's the common factor between those two? The b, right? Okay, that's fine as well. But you could also go like this, and I'm going to take these two <clears throat> and put those together and then come, come uh, work out that common factor and pull that out and see what's left. Then you could go, oh, well, since I did those two, I'm only left with these two. I can pull out the common factor, which is a 3 and an a, figure out what you have left and do it that way. So any one of those ways is fine. Let's just go ahead and go, okay, first two, we'll just lump those together. In fact, let's just do it, uh, we'll kind of do like, uh, use parentheses here to kind of make it mathematically official, I guess, right? So if you pull this out, what's the common factor? Well, the answer is y. And then you have an x left and you have plus 3a. All right, and let's go ahead and do this. Plus, what's the common factor here? B, right? So you pull that out, and lo and behold, you have an x plus 3a. Now, if you notice, this and this are the same. So let's say you had 5 times 10 plus 3 times 10. You could write this, of course, as just going, oh, that's 50 plus 30. That's the same thing as this brought down and this brought down, adding those together, 5 plus 3, and you could go, the whole thing is 5 plus 3 times 10, right? So it's the same thing. Well, if it works for numbers, it works for this too. So if you have the same thing multiplied twice, all you need to do is write it down once. Then you can lump together this and this and say that's going to be y plus b, just like this was 5 plus 3. And this is your answer. There you go. Now, if you were to sit there and multiply these four through, you know, you do take this and then take that, it, you get exactly the same answer. So that's all you need to do. Lump these into little groups, factor out. They have contrived this, by the way. Saxon math makes, makes it happen. So you see this and this, you know, an answer twice, which means you just have to write it one time. Okay, let's try this. I mean, we can do this two ways, and I'll show you what I mean in a second, but uh, pause and copy if you need to. Okay, well, again, we can just, we can, if, as long as you see that anything has the same factor, you can use it, and then use the other two, and it will always work out. Okay, so let's just take these two. If we factor out something, we'll factor out A, right? So we have an A. We factor that out, we have an XY minus a 4, right? Okay. All right, let's go plus here. And then what can we factor on these two? B, right? Okay, let's factor out the B. To factor out the B, we have an XY, lo and behold, minus 4. 
ok so you see that's the same and that's the same right so all you need to do is go ok this part and that part are going to be their own little set inside parentheses and then we'll have x y minus four as its own set and we are done now you might have said uh, oh I'm gonna try a different way oh look I, I noticed that here's an x y here and, oh, and there's an x y there I'm gonna put those together fine go ahead and do it all right well we can actually let's, let's just rewrite them x y a plus x y b minus 4 a minus 4 b that's fine doesn't matter what order they're in you know we're still you know they're still there so we can go over here we can go okay what's the common factor of x y a and x y b well x y okay we can pull that out of there and we can we have a plus b left good okay we can take this and go hmm what's the common factor here oh negative four right negative four once you pull that out you have a and don't forget we have a minus four b divided by minus four is going to be plus b all right so you notice again, there's your, that's the same thing as that. So all you need to do is go, okay, fine, a plus b and xy minus 4, which probably will look strangely familiar to you because that's exactly what we got right here. Same thing. So it doesn't matter what order you do them in. And if you have an answer, for example, if this is your answer, I circled, or that, in the back of the book, of course, if it says xy minus 4 times a plus b, fine, same thing. You know, 9 times 5 is the same thing as 5 times 9. Doesn't matter what order it's in. So, all right, let's try one more. And again, you can lump these however you want. I'd just go ahead and do the first two. You know, just save yourself some time and then lump these, first, these last two together, okay? So if you lump the first two, you can pull out an A. And you have a C left, and you have a 2 D. All right. All right. So we can add and we'll find out what we have here. What's the common factor of two and four? Of course, that's two. And then BC and BD, of course, that'll be B. All right. And then, then what's left in this one? If you take away or if you divide two BC by two B, the answer is C. And four divided by two is two. BD divided by B is D. And of course, you probably knew that because that's the same as that. So we'll just write that one time. So that'll be C plus two D. And then that'll be multiplied by what's left, a plus 2b, and that is it. That's all we need to do. Okay. All right, so let's try the first practice problem. Go ahead and pause that and uh, give it a whirl. Okay, you could have done any way you wanted. We'll just go ahead and take the first two, and we can pull out an a there, and we have an mb minus a 7. Okay, so let's try this one. Try these two. And the common factor is n, and we put, put that in there. We have an mv minus 7, of course, all right? Then we have an a plus an n. That'll be one part. And then, of course, the other part is mv minus 7, and that's it. And, of course, it doesn't matter what order those two are in. You could have mv minus 7 times a plus n. Totally, totally fine. All right, pause it and try b now. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Second one. We can just go ahead and lump these two together. We get an N that gets pulled out. We have S plus 3X. Second one, uh, the 2 comes out and the C comes out, right? So again, we have S left here. And then 6 divided by 2 is 3. And then C divided by C is gone. And then we just have the X. And of course, you probably knew that because that's the same as this. So we have the N plus 2C times s plus 3x and there we go and that's it see you guys next time